Hello everybody, it is June 5th and I'm transferring my germinating carrots from the seed to the soil. I also want to give you a quick update on what's going on in the garden. So we're going to do that first. What I did was I ripped the bag open and as you can see I have all my germinating seeds inside the bag like this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the seeds, the paper towel, and I'm going to use my foot to help me out here. I'm going to take it up like this and I'm going to take it and I'm going to plant, put it on the soil like that. Because as you remember, I have two of them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take it and lay it side by side like this. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some soil and I'm just going to sprinkle it lightly on top. I'm not 100% concerned about um, the paper towel because the paper towel actually um, composts itself. And then the leaves will make their way vertically up off the napkin towards the sun. I don't want to put too much dirt on top because I don't want to suffocate my plants. Then what I'll do is I will water it. And that's it. That's transferring from paper towel to um, dirt. Now you can go ahead and take the plant out but with a, such a small seed as carrots are it really you may end up damaging the root system if you do that. So that's my suggestion. It's my first year doing it so we'll see how it goes. Now I did go ahead and I planted in here inside of my um, cinder blocks. Here I have the Dianthus is I think how you say it. I transferred my um, sunflowers which obviously as you can see are not doing 100% well versus the one that I kept inside there. So my first year doing it on my own. Next time I will make sure to plant the seeds, the plants, the sunflower plants where I want it to grow. Here I have the Ampanthus. <coughs> I think is how you say it. I'm not even sure. Here is the begonia and then another one of the same of these. In each of the other cinder blocks I will be doing um, radishes. <coughs> as well as in the middle here I will be doing radishes as well. You have my green beans which actually have green beans growing which makes me very happy. Your salvia, my cilantro which is bunching up nicely. My cucumbers which are growing very nicely. There's my eggplant, my jalapenos, which are flowering, as you can see here. Then I have my um, bell, green bell peppers, which have some flowers growing. My big bertha, which are growing some. My cherry tomato, which is flowering, a lot of flowering going on. And again, my tomatoes in the back. Now, uh, another variation I did in my garden is I got myself a um, beef steak like I had last year. And I put that where the better boys were and moved the better boys to a container. Um, cause I didn't like the way it was growing so, and I liked the way the, um, beef steak were growing last year. So I went ahead and did that. They're actually doing really well. There is a tomato here that I didn't realize that I bought it like that. I did this a couple of days ago. We have the yellow bell, which is growing some flowers. Rosemary, sage, basil my oregano which is growing nicely this one it seems to have been issues with mushrooms I did watch a video on um, growing your greens with John Kohler that said mushrooms aren't a big deal you could always just pull them out and a lot of the bagged soil mix ends up having spore, uh, mushroom spores and this is bagged soil so that's most likely my issue either that or overwatering. I have not watered uh, my plants because it has been raining on and off so I'm going to keep an eye on that. I have my dill, my tarragon, my flat leaf parsley, and my curled, my uh, broccoli that went to seed, my onions, garlic, my other broccoli that went to seeds over here as well. So as you can see, very different looking in the garden. Everything is growing very nicely. I do think that I did a very good job this year on spacing. So. I'm very happy about that as well and I'm loving my idea with the uh, green beans that I did inside the bucket. Really nice. I like it. And then my little addition here. 
Over here we have the beets inside the cinder block. Now the soil is, as you can see, very hard. So next year I will be uh, mixing mulch in. Um, the soil also had a lot of the seeds off of um, off of weeds. So I am definitely going to make sure to keep an eye on those this year as well. But the beets are growing in nicely. This, as you can see, is actually a weed. So I'm going to go ahead and pull those out. Anything that has a um, maroon or red stem I know is my beet, so I won't touch those. Then I have my zucchini here that was bought. As you can see, all the weeds that are in here. My corn here. Pull that. Corn and corn. Now, my corn actually looks very similar to the weeds growing, so I ended up accidentally pulling the corn that was growing here. So I might just plant a seed. I may germinate. I'm not sure what I'm going to do, or I just leave it the three and just kind of space them out a little bit better. But I'll figure it out. As you can see, I added some topsoil in here for, to give it a nice, better appeal. My flowers I have in here, the lavender cosmos in the middle, and the um, marigolds at the end. Then we have my ivies here along. Um, they haven't really grown much, but um, I'm not expecting it to grow too, too much, but we'll see what happens. Now, my soil is very dry um, right now, so what I am going to do once I end my video is I am going to um, go ahead and water. I ended up finding some watermelon. Now, mind you, I do have watermelon seeds germinating in a paper towel inside that I'm still going to plant. I put this here of watermelon, and I'm going to plant the other ones on that end of the thing and let them kind of grow in together and see what happens. I did put dirt here. And along here, topsoil and gardening soil in the middle, because that's where my watermelons are going, to cover the uh, fabric. I didn't put too much dirt. I just put a nice small layer, because my watermelons could be growing, and I want it to grow all up into this area. And I want it to have a nice little cushion while it's growing. So I'm going to manipulate all my watermelons to grow on the dirt versus into my parking area. So I made that put some more dirt in there so that's my garden I did s speed things up a little bit because I have my son inside so this is June 5th an update of the vegetable garden as well as a transplanting of Germany in a paper towel my carrots enjoy